So why do different data structures exist? Let us understand this thing first. Uh, let's say somebody tells you that, hey, I'm going to give you 100 numbers, 100 integers, and those 100 integers have no relations with each other, right? Then it does not really matter how you structure their storage. I mean, if you have been given, let's say some integers like 5, 1, 2, 3, 0, it does not really matter how you store them. If you want, you can store them in an array. If you want, you can store them in any other data structure of your choice. Right, But sometimes what happens is that the data which you have been given, that data has strong relations with one another. And when it has strong relations with one another, then just storing it in a simple linear array or a vector or a list would not make sense. When I say would not make sense, what I'm trying to say is there will be information loss. What I mean by information loss is, let's take a, let's take a very quick example. So uh, let's say there is a company and in every company, you know, there is a hierarchy of employees. Okay. So um, the first person is, let's say, CEO and let's say uh, under CEO, you have got CTO and then CFO and then COO. And then again, under CTO, you have got uh, a vice president of engineering, VP1, VP2. And under these vice presidents, you have again got, let's say, directors, director one, director two. And here you have got, let's say, director three. Again, under this director one, let's say you have got a uh, manager one, manager two. Here you have got a manager three. Here you have got a manager four. And now again, under them, there can be some tech leads. And under them, there can be some uh, SDs. And under them, there can be some interns. So there is a huge structure like that. Correct? Now, for uh, every employee, uh, let's say there is some kind of ID or some kind of tag. So let's say the ID of CEO is CEO. Uh, this guy is VP1, this guy is VP2, this guy is director three. Now, if you want to store this data and if you want to just store it in a linear array, then you can say, okay, I can just take a linear array and the first element of that array can be a string CEO. The second element can be CTO and the third element can be something else, something else, something else. So if you store the data like that, what you will lose is, you will lose the parent-child relationship. What I mean by parent-child relationship is, here you can say that, hey, CEO is the parent of CTO, CFO, and CEO. CTO is the parent of VP1, VP2. So if you're just storing it in, an, it in an array, you will not be able to make out that who was the parent of which all things, right? So it is important to store such kind of data in a different kind of structure. And this gives rise to some very well-known hierarchical data structures, okay? Now there are varieties of hierarchical data structures, but the most basic of them, which we'll be learning today is called as trees, okay? So data structures exist because the problems exist. Like one problem over here is certain data can be hierarchical in nature. Whenever a data is hierarchical in nature, the best way to store that is in form of a tree. Because when you store that in form of a tree, you preserve the parent-child relationships. Does it make sense to everyone? Yes or no? Yeah? Okay. Uh, one of you is asking why we can't use 2D array for storing. You answer me how, how 2D array can solve your problem. How is 2D array different from an array of arrays? Just think about that. That's no different. You have a 2D array, which you are visualizing like that. Where will you, well, where will you store this root? If you are saying you will store your root here in the middle, I would say it does not make sense. In that case, let's say you store your CTO here, let's say you store VP1 here, where will you store this D1? I mean, you will have no clue how big in terms of dimensions do you need your 2D array to be, right? So in case of a tree, what happens is that the structure is not really fixed. You do not really know that how many children COO will have and how many grandchildren it will have. So whenever you are planning to use array or 2D array or anything like that, which has a fixed storage, it just does not make sense. Yeah. 